What's up everyone? Today I'm gonna try to attempt the install of the Grip Royal steering wheel on a Nissan 350Z. Uh, the bolt pattern on the steering wheel is a little different than like Momo or Energy steering wheels. So it's a little weird. I couldn't find anything on the internet on how to do that properly. I'm gonna try to do it, you're gonna watch it and uh, we'll see what happens. So what I got here today is Works Bell Hub Adapter, Energy Glow in the Dark uh, Quick Release, some tools, and a steering wheel. That's how it looks like. It's kind of cool, kind of matches my car because it's white, and uh, let's get into it. First step, we're going to have to open the hood, open the battery thing and disconnect the battery because you don't want the airbag going off on you and hurting you. So let's do that. It's a 10 millimeter socket that you have to unscrew. And once you unscrew it, I kind of already did, you just remove the, I believe, negative. Make sure it's not touching anything and you're good to go. Next step you're gonna do is find two little bolts T30 um, on both sides of the steering wheel. Those will help. Come here. They'll help you. They're right here. Both of them. One of them is here. The other one is on the other side. Uh, they'll help you remove the airbag. So let's do that right now. Uh, with the Works Bell hub adapter, you get a little tool that'll help you to remove those uh, little screws. Well, after removing those two bolts that were pain in the ass, they're really hard to remove, especially with that little tool that was included in the hub adapter. Now it's time to remove your airbag. I haven't touched it, but it should come out just like this. And now you have to disconnect it. Two wires coming from the car to this airbag. Right here, yellow and uh, orange. Uh, I have no idea how to disconnect them, but I'm guessing it's just uh, pulling them up like that. To remove the airbag, all you have to do is lift this black parts, like black pieces on the connectors, and then the whole connector just comes up. So next step is a 19 millimeter socket bolt that holds your steering wheel. And here it is. We're just gonna have to keep unscrewing it. You can literally do it with your hand. But from now on, you have to get your steering wheel off. And to get your steering wheel off, you need some power. So, leave that bolt on. A lot of people say, leave that bolt on, leave it on, and make sure your steering wheel is loose. You gotta smack it a couple times, or whatever, to get it loose. There you go, now it's off. So, after you remove the steering wheel, now the goal is to put a new horn button in, and uh, make sure the airbag light does not come on. So, to do that, Forks Belt provides two little connectors to put an airbag and th the car will think that the airbag is in there even though the airbag isn't. I'm not sure which one goes where. I am gonna guess that it doesn't matter. Um, here's just two little, I don't know, there you go. Two little pins on each one of them and you just gotta put them in these little connectors. The works bell provides you with a little connector to connect your horn. So we're going to do that, just put it in like that, and we're good. Next step, put a hub adapter on. We have top with a little dot, and we have a little notch on this thing. I have to turn it 15 degrees, so the steering wheel bolt pattern matches. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do this, but I'm going to do it. Well, after you line everything up, that took me a little while and feed all these connectors. I had to take off these little things for the airbag to... Uh, now you put the bolt back on and just screw it back on. So I'm gonna do that real quick. So now we're putting the connectors in the airbag back in. Once again, just force them in. They should fit. I'm sorry for the awful lighting. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll improve, I promise. With all these wires, I have to tuck them all in there. So here's two parts. This part this first part is going on the hub adapter. 
This part we don't need for now. We're just gonna put it off to the side. Um, what we need to do is connect our little horn button. I left this black wire um, coming out of the car and the connector. And here's a yellow wire, so I'm gonna connect those two. And uh, we have another wire that has to be ground. So this black wire is gonna be ground. Uh, quick release provides you with little things like that. Um, it's just metal little plate that you have to screw um, right after hub adapter and right before the quick release. And this thing will work as a as a ground. So I got the little connector that's provided with a quick release. You gotta put it on and. Uh, now you can connect that yellow wire that's on the quick release with the black wire that's coming out of a car. And here's like a little rubber to prevent you from touching the connectors, which I kind of don't care. I'm just going to tuck it in there and leave it. This other black wire that's on the quick release is going to this little thing that's, that has a little thing on the side. It's really not easy to connect all these things together. But there you go, I did it. I gotta make sure the wires aren't fucked up, pretty much. Because if they are, it's not good. But uh, there we go, something like this. Lining everything up is like the most important thing here because if your wheel is off, that's not gonna be fun to drive. When the wheel is straight and everything else isn't. Um, while I was doing this off camera, I went to my uh, hood to the battery. I touched the battery with a connector and the horn didn't go off. That means you connected everything right because if you didn't connect everything right, you touch the battery with a, like as you disconnect it, if you touch it, the connectors and the horn goes off. I can't speak English, I'm sorry. If the, if the horn goes off, it means you fucked everything up. So I gotta open it and rewire it. But apparently, I think I'm good. We screwed in the quick release to the hub adapter, this first part. So now what we have to do is, this, this is the other part of the quick release, we have to put a horn button and a steering wheel on it. That's pretty much it. So I'll do that and once again I'll get back to you. Well, apparently um, I didn't film anything else after that last shot you saw because I assumed you guys would know how to screw the steering wheel to the uh, quick release. And what I didn't realize that unfortunately, by my stupidity, I put my steering wheel on the hub adapter upside down. So now, what I have to do is screw all these little bolts and redo it because I suck. I told you I don't know nothing about how to install a steering wheel. I just read forums and watched videos on YouTube, and there's not enough videos, so I decided to make my own. So, there it is. I'm gonna redo it, put it on, and we'll see how it looks. So it looks like I did everything right currently. I'm trying to put the horn button in. Okay, so now I'm gonna connect the battery. I'm really cold, I don't feel my legs at all, but it's cold. Yeah! The battery connects just fine. And right there. I'm gonna screw it in real quick, and the horn doesn't go off, so. Follow me, let's go see if the horn works though. Excitement. Oh. Ah, it works. Oh, a little dog. But yeah, so here it is. I will turn on the car and we'll see how it works, but it looks pretty sick. To me at least. So yeah, we'll turn the car and I'll see if it's good. So now we'll start the car for the first time in like about a week because I left my car in my friend's garage because I've been trying not to drive in the winter. But here we are trying to... Gonna start the car and see if the airbag light will come on. So nothing came on, everything works. Just a tire thing blinking because I have no chip 
no little sensor and tires. But overall, everything works. That's how the steering wheel looks. Looks pretty sick. I like it. It's really close to me, uh, which is pretty cool. I don't think it rattles. It doesn't have any weird noises or anything. It's pretty firm. Grip Royal. Didn't know how to install it. There it is, installed. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe, like, comment, and um, it's gonna be more content about cars and everything. Uh, I'm really sorry for this first video being really, really shitty. Um, the quality isn't the best, the lighting and everything. I'm in the garage and it's dark and I'm really cold. But yeah, once again, thank you for watching and have a good one. See you later. So, 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 um, so, so, yeah, so, 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 so,